YouTube, what's good with y'all, man? It's your man Gip, and I'm back with another Vleezy, man. Picking up some cases of water, man. Finna switch up the pace a little bit, man. Instead of heading over to Phoenix, man, I'm about to head over to uh, Las Vegas, man. Gonna still be dealing with the same heat, I'm sure. It's gonna be crazy hot out there, but it is what it is. I gotta do what I gotta do. Get the job done. Ain't no way through it but to do it, man. So uh, we're here to get loaded right now. These water loads be heavy as hell. Appointment time was at 3 p.m. It's noon now. Sometimes that's how I go. You can get over here early, man. Hey, they're gonna be a butthole and complain about loading you early, or they'll just go ahead and get the job done and make their job easier for the day, man. Weather's pleasant right here in LA, man, but uh, it's not gonna be like that for long, man. Can't wait till I get that new rig, y'all. If you're new to the channel, man, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, man. About to bang this water load out real quick. 7 a.m. delivery. I was even thinking about possibly uh, like waking up like early in the morning and then take it out there. But I just decided to go ahead and uh, take the load out there, deal with the heat. It delivers at 7 a.m. It's like either take it now or wake up at what? one two o'clock in the morning i don't like driving through the night man so we're gonna go ahead and get to vegas man find a plan to finish get a workout in shower up find us a healthy meal might shoot over there to that uh that oyster bar we like to frequent when we hit the vegas area grab one of them nice shrimp caesar salads or something man i don't know man your boy might find a couch or something in the casino lobby or something and lay it down man it's it's finna be brutal. If it get too ugly, man, I will snatch up a room, but I'm not trying to do that. When you be out there grabbing them rooms, that money is coming out of the profit, and we trying to keep as much as we can. And uh, yeah, we work in the spot market, man. We headed to Vegas. Instead of heading east across the Mojave, we gonna be heading north, northeast. So it is what it is, man. Let's get loaded. And uh, see what it do, man. See what it do with this low, y'all. All right, guys, I just want to tap in with you, man. I'm about an hour away from uh Las Vegas, making our descent down this last little climb. I've just been climbing, we about 4,000 feet elevation. Um, a lot of traffic going into Las Vegas, obviously for the summer, for the weekend. But I forgot about this grade right here. Let me put this thing in ninth, man. 6% grade for the next 10 miles. Trucks use lower gears, so in a lower gear. Making our way to Vegas, man, on this treacherous 15. Interstate 15, man, I've seen some bad accidents out on this highway, y'all. But I'm prayed up, been taking my time to get here. Would have been here, got caught up in like a two hour traffic jam delay on I-15 with some construction they got going, man. They sure pick a fine time to do it instead of being out there late at night. But we almost to the Vegas area, man. Oh yeah, and I got lucky and got me a cool backhaul going back to Los Angeles, man. This load delivers tomorrow at 7 a.m. And uh, thought I was just gonna turn around and shoot right back to the city. We're gonna hang out in Vegas tomorrow. I might lounge on the strip, I don't know, man. I really don't know what I'm gonna do until I pick up my load coming back to LA, man. But we almost in Vegas, guys. Working my Jake break. This hill's starting to get a little more treacherous. Let me turn my brake up a little higher. Got my Jake brake on. Gear number three. And we rolling, man. Nice and easy, man. Slow and steady wins the race, man. All right, guys. So we made it to Sin City, man. Finally, man. Glad I made it in before the... Uh, sun completely fell man it was pitch black out here in this desert at night cutting across that desert flow in the dark man ain't cool for your boy right here that's the south point that's the first big major 
resort casino that you're gonna uh, come through when you're driving into Vegas. This dude right here been swerving like crazy, man. Yo, what he on in there, man? Look, he all over the lane except his lane. He in everybody lane except his lane, man. Like they say, stay in your lane, man. This traffic is crazy in Vegas too, man. I'm almost to my exit, man. Almost to my exit, baby. You got to be careful out here, man. Plenty of DUI drivers out here, man. Plenty. But we are here, man. It's always that electrifying feeling, man, when you reach Vegas, for real, man. It's like, it's a trip, man. It's just you have to be here to experience it. Or if you've been here, you know what I'm talking about. Like, Vegas just got a crazy vibe, man. When you hear, it's just electrifying, man. The show would be nice. I can go sit and win one of these jackpots, though. But I always lose, man. I never win, man. I love to hit one of these jackpots. You feel me? Oh, man. Go on, Bob Tilly. Go on, Bob Tilly. Yes, sir, man. Going right behind this hotel right here, man. Palace Station. They got some nice big truck parking in the back. Let's make our way around the back. Hopefully, it's not full. Sometimes they even be having security sitting out there. Sometimes the damn lot even be closed, man. But it's cool, man. Let's go find a spot in the back. Of the palace, Steezy, man. Yes, sir, Ski, man. You see, they lined up over here, man. Let's go fall in line with everybody else, y'all. Yes, sir, man. Everybody don't know about this parking lot, neither. Wore it out, yeah. See Landstar up in here. Got Crete. Crete is asleep. This boy's probably up in here with these lizards, man. This is a lot, lizard lot. The, the lizardiest of the lizards, man. I'm here y'all finna go up in this palace station man see what's going on in here see how long the line for the oyster bar is it's normally like a two three hour wait no cap but it's well worth it man best creole dishes they got in vegas for real people come from up off that strip just to come over here and eat good it's hot out here but it's a little bit more pleasant than it was in that damn phoenix i ain't gonna cap to you man so this is gonna be home for the night. The pool is lit up over there. Ain't nobody in there. Must be shut down. I never understood that why they close the pools at nighttime in Vegas as hot as it be. Oh, I 
wasn't gonna be able to do it, y'all. It's 108 degrees out there, man. Sursky, man. Grab me a. Ooh, that air, you can feel it kicking too. Told him to put me up high. I can look out over this lot. And nigga the be right there, man. You can see a park down here. Go right there. He's either sleep out there, man, across that wood, or come boss up, man, on the 18th floor overlooking the strip. Get some lights on in this thing. Give y'all a quick little, little room tour, man. What a play I got tonight. Seen they got a fitness center in here too on the third floor. I was gonna go around there to uh. Planet feeds it, man. Sir, man, bro. Boy, getting it in, man. Ain't no way through it but to do it, man. No excuses, man. Had this fitness center in the hotel. Thought I was gonna have to drive the B and drag that heavy trailer around to the front of Planet Fitness up the street from here, man. Let's go ahead and utilize what they got in here. I ain't even look behind me to see what's going on over there. I think it's a. Yeah, I see some free weights back there. A little small bench. 30 minutes of this cardio. I gotta earn my meal tonight, man. Like I say, they got these bomb pot roasts in here, but I gotta earn it. Cap. <laughs> Everybody in here losing their money to these one arm bandits, man. I refuse to play. Every time I get on this uh the blackjack table, I normally always lose any damn way. When people sit down here hours on hours. Burning they cigarettes. So you see how empty it looking here. Now if we get around here and this line ain't wrapped around the other restaurant, man, I'm gonna be shocked, man. That's where I'm going right here though. It's normally a two, three hour wait. So let's see what it do tonight, y'all. Look kind of empty tonight. I'm in luck. I think I spoke too fast, man. This the line right here. This the line right here to get in the place right here. So I'm finna just wait in the line. Let's see if I can get in there. The next day. Damn, top of the morning, man. Niggas just gonna watch a nigga sleep, man, and not get a nigga up, man. Did we oversleep? Ooh, wait. What time is it, man? Damn, why y'all didn't get a nigga up, man? Y'all check on the truck? Oh, man, she good, man. Feels good out here, man. I always love coming to this little courtyard right here. Remember a while back too, I came right here, was sitting right here. It was tripping, it was looking up like, man, I wish I could just be posted up in this room while I'm delivering these loads. And your boy's up there on the 18th floor, man. Let's go get this load delivered, y'all. facility it's warm but this is like i said this is way more doable than that damn phoenix man for real y'all man 
<laughs> oh, dope fiend ass nigga, man. Bruh. Hook. Dopey. These boys is waking up, man, in these rigs, man. They getting up out of here. They ain't got appointments, early morning appointments. That damn sun start coming through that cab. And that heat will get you up. That's how your boy was out here, man, with the windows down like that. Like Landstar right there. Windows down. Visor up. Making the best of it. He been in there sleeping good though. I heard him running all night. APU was pumping. Little fella finna hit the highway, man. Put some miles under his wings. Where's the B at over here, man? That's where we was at, man. Bossed up. Like King Jaffe Jofa on the 18th floor, man. Yeah, overlooking the strip, y'all. I'm gonna do my walk around, man. Get to the uh, receiver. Drip, like I tell you guys, I always use Google Maps. You can know where you're going. First time going to this uh, receiver. And uh, shit, man, I'm like three minutes away from here. So, appointment says seven, man. I do feel well, well, well rested, y'all. For real. It's got the motors running. They in there. Sleeping like babies, man. Serious Avenue. Walking distance, y'all. Literally. Straight walking distance, man. Nah, the only thing I can hope is they can get me in and out. To Real hotel is right there. Alright, so I'm here, y'all. Got my doors open. Just kind of staged my truck right here. Got one other truck ahead of me gentleman right here i don't know if he's getting unloaded or loaded but you can see we got this full load of these heavy pallets of this water on here man these water loads is are monstrous man i don't know what i never pulled around like those any steel or nothing like that i'm sure those are crazy too with them flatbeds but these water loads is vicious man but we here man they getting it off, man. The guys is real nice here too, man. But it's a trip. You know, you know when you go buy your water from Costco or the store and you just grab like a case or something? Or even let's say you stack two cases, maybe even three. That's going to be pretty heavy in your arms, man. So I'm just using that as a description, like, just let you guys see how damn heavy or understand the weight, man, that you be pulling with these things, man. It's big ass box, 53 feet. And they probably cut it off to about right here. They can't take it all the way to the back because we'll be over the weight limit. But from there all the way up, man, it's about a thousand. I think it's like 1,180 cases of water. That's heavy as hell, man. The only reason I'm speaking on all that is the fact that I've been wanting to run this way to Vegas because I've been seeing some cool loads coming this way. And, um, uh, I was just, you know, wonder what type of fuel I will be burning. <laughs> Excuse me, coming up here, man. Because majority of them be a lot less. Not a lot less, but a little bit less than what's going over to Phoenix. That's why I've been running there. And I just try to maximize on my dollar amount that I make each load as best as I can, man. You know what I mean? But with a load like that, and what I was guesstimating what i will be spending on the fuel man i was real right on the money with the amount of money man i'm not really sure about that but as soon as i find out yeah 
So, uh, sweet. So I used to, I remember one time I had before, I don't know if you guys have it, it's a Kahlua. That was no, kind of a I sweet. Have, uh, like all the flavored sweet stuff is uh -huh. on this side here. Uh -huh. um, Oh acids. yeah, the acids. acids. The Java's a latte and, a, and the Maduro, which is like a coffee. -ish. Had the Java before, yeah. yeah. But basically everything right here. Yeah, it's flavored. Our sweets, our uh -huh. hand rolled sweets, oh, okay. are hey. all dipped in honey. The ones oh. right here. All right, well, let me try one of you guys. Yeah. yeah. It's, got a honey, it's just a tip. You get it on your lips. It's good. I don't know okay. what size you want. Uh, What would be the, oh, the sweet? Depending on what size Church you want. Um, something kind of. Chunky man. Oh shoot, man! I'll go with this, this size right here. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Grab a couple. Excuse me, sir. Morning, Joe. Ron, how are you, buddy? I'm fine. How are you, sir? Good. Good. Dominican Magic Sweet. Yeah. It's good. Okay. It's a cheap cigar, but it's really good. It's good, okay. <laughs> Am right. I on the bean here with this? It's a, it's a good, yeah. okay. You can hold that one for okay. me. Let me, let me yeah. get a, let me pick one more. Usually I'll take a Toro. Toro? Yeah, I, do, yeah, I just think that's the well, one. I, did, oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. Think I've said okay, thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> and if I just go with two, okay. two Toro. Be. Yeah, appreciate it, man. I need to buy a lighter too for later, man. Gotcha. Uh, what, uh, so all the jet lines here, they're all in white time here. If you have a problem with them, you take it back. Oh, uh, okay. So depending what's a uh, you know, double flame, triple flames, some of them have uh, like these. There's a, no, this one doesn't have it. So it's this one, the Patriot. It's got a punch on the bottom, so in oh, okay. case you just need it, you can just punch your cigar and then. Okay. Uh, right. Right. Okay, I appreciate it, man. Relax. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, thank you. Went on there with one of their Toro Sweets, one of their own hand rolled cigars, man. Toro Sweet. Check him out, see what he's about. Y'all already know where we at, man. We over here feeding this machine. Feeding this machine a hot 300 done, man. I'm gonna put the rest in on the other side, man. And we dropping some of that bug. That bug spray in the engine, man. Take care of this baby, man. Whatever she requests on the dashboard, she requests in washer fluid. That's what she gonna get, man. Yeah, I ain't check that oil either, man. I ain't been checking my oil, but every time I do go in there, she good, man. The engine is super dry, man. Thank Jehovah God for that, man. I have to get my fuel right. What's this nigga doing over here, man? Look at this nigga, man. Look at this nigga going, man. Where this nigga going? This nigga trying to get out the heat too, man. It's hot, man. Found him a little piece of shade, man. 
So most of you niggas is pigeons. You niggas ain't eagles. Y'all see that tower, man? I'm up on the top floor, man. For real, for real, I'm about to go find me the coldest lot lizard they got running around Las Vegas, man.